Hey there, I am going to be doing a statement necklace collection today. I've been getting requests for this. I wear statement necklaces all the time, so I might as well show you my collection. It's kind of large, so if you can stick around for it, definitely do, because I will also link down below where to find the ones that are still available. Hopefully a lot of them are. And then also if I find any promo codes, I'll put them down there too. I'll start off with the necklace I'm wearing right now, which is this gorgeous white necklace. This is from Happiness Boutique. And this was probably my most recent, yeah, I think out of all of them, this is the most recent one that I've gotten. And I am obsessed with it. It's just so large and pretty to put with something or like a really basic top. I'd probably wear black with it out of all of the colors. I think that would make it stand out the most, but I'm wearing white today so that you can see all the other necklaces um, on my white background. But I think it still looks good, white and white, monochromatic, right? But they have jewelry, accessories, um, clothing on there too, so I love it. And they ship to a bunch of different countries. I did notice that because when I first went on the site, it was in pound, I think. The quality is really nice. I would probably compare this more to like bubble bar jewel mint quality than anything. It's not cheap at all. The next one is this right here, and I got this from a Stitch Fix and it's just a triangle necklace. I don't know if I would have bought this on my own, but Stitch Fix works in a way they send you a box of stuff and you choose to keep what you want and you send the rest back. But if you don't keep at least one item, then you get charged a $20 styling fee. Whereas otherwise the $20 would go towards the purchase. So that's why I kept this. Um, I don't mind it, but honestly I don't wear it a ton. And then this one right here is by J. Crew, and this is also kind of a more recent purchase. If I'm being honest with you guys, I originally purchased this in December as a Christmas gift. But then the more <laughs> that I sat around waiting to give it away, the more I loved it. So I ended up keeping it and getting the person something else. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It was only like $8. It's on super clearance. So I think that is a great purchase and it's amazing quality. The next necklace is from Forever 21. Kind of has like pastel colors in it. It's not the best quality, but that's what you'd expect with Forever 21 necklaces. I like it. Not my favorite though. And this one is also from Forever 21. I actually got it at the same time as the other necklace and it's just daisies. I think it's really nice for spring, March, April, and May are probably the biggest month that I wear this at but I wear it all through the summer and really I wear it in winter too but those are like the main seasons I like to wear it because that's when like flowers are blossoming and I don't know I really like the yellow in it and this necklace is by Bubble Bar the only purchase I've ever made through this site and it's just a neon hot pink I haven't worn it much but I love it and I don't want to get rid of it because I think it's a really good summer piece this necklace I got off of eBay I believe for like two dollars Okay, that is one place I definitely suggest you guys looking if you're wanting statement pieces but don't want to spend a lot of money. Quality is not going to be the best, I will tell you that right off. But, I mean, this piece isn't even bad. This is more, you get like Forever 21 quality. But for $2, I don't care. If it breaks after like five uses, I got my money worth out of it. But this one actually is in pretty good condition still and I've worn this a lot and I just love the peach colors and... I don't know what else to say, I really like this necklace. But one thing to warn you guys on eBay necklaces, a lot of them will turn green. They haven't turned my neck green, but the actual um, color of the metal is turning green. So I don't know exactly what, is that like copper that does that? I My metals, I don't know them very well. But you will probably get a lot of tarnishing on your metal sections. I'm really impressed that I remember where all these are from because I have so many. This one is from Leah Sophia. If you're a Leah Sophia fan, oh hi, um, that was Moose. If you're a Leah Sophia fan, you probably are upset that the company is no longer. My mom, all the Leah Sophia that I have is from my mom. She was a rep for them. She's really upset that they closed, but I got a lot of nice statements pieces from them and they're probably on the most expensive side of everything that I have. Like, I believe something like this would probably go for like $100. It's kind of ridiculous, but the quality is really nice, and I actually haven't had any of my jewelry break, so that's a plus to it, I guess. Not that they're a company anymore, but I really like this one, and my boss actually has this too, so there's been a lot of times we show up the same day with the same pieces of jewelry on. And then one of my all-time favorites is this piece right here. This is by Your Bijou Box. It's a subscription. I was subscribed to it for, I want to say, like three months. But then I stopped because, as you can see, I do not really need any more jewelry. But it's just a very classic piece to wear with pretty much anything, which is why I wear it the most out of all my jewelry. This is, yeah, I'm pretty positive this is my most worn piece. So 
I'm obsessed. Um, I don't think you can get this anywhere, but there's a lot of places that sell similar items to it. And then there is this one, and it still has a tag on it, obviously, so I've been waiting to wear it. It's a neon yellow, but I am excited to start wearing this. Then another Your Bijou piece. This one, I'm not, there's like hair stuck in it. Um, I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I like it, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. I don't know. I think it's because it has, yeah, this white piece right here is a flower on it, and it looks kind of like immature almost. But I like how big it is, and I I think out of all my necklaces, I get the most compliments on this one, which is weird that it's like one of the ones I don't like the most, but I still like it. Um, like I said, it was from your Bichu box, so again, it was part of the subscription. It's not like I picked it out, so it's, if I had picked it out, I would have been like, what were you thinking? But because I did not have a choice in it, I don't know, I'm still gonna wear it, but that the flower just bothers me. And then I have this rose gold two chain necklace. Whenever I wear it, one of um, my coworkers always calls me two chain. Uh, it feels a little gangster, but I really like the, like, a little more manly feel. What do you call that? Masculine, that's the word I was looking for. And again, just wearing it with like simple pieces. Very heavy, that's one thing. It's heavy and it's kind of noisy, but I really enjoy it and the quality is amazing. It's by Bubble Bar, but I got it in a Pop Sugar. And then I have another Leah Sophia necklace and it's just teal and a sea foamish green. Very pretty, very similar to other ones I have, but I don't think I've had any in this color before. And then another Your Bijou box. I Okay, the reason that I like this is because it has like a blush color in it, but I don't know if I actually like the design of it. I'm not positive. It's really pretty for wearing neutrals or when I want to wear like more brown and like nude makeup, I always kind of want to wear this. So a lot of it has to do with my makeup mood is what I'll wear in jewelry. And that was all of my statement pieces. Let me count these real fast and see how many I have and then I can feel not sorry for myself isn't the word, but just embarrassed. So I have 14 statement necklaces. That is a lot. I'm not gonna buy any more. That's probably a lie because I probably will, but I'm gonna try not to buy any more because 14 is just probably a little excessive. Let me know if you have any statement necklaces, what your favorite one was out of my collection. I'm gonna say that probably my favorite is going to be between this one, it's newer and I've been wanting a really big one for a long time. This one and then the Your Bijou one that had just the jewels on it. So I have nothing left to tell you all except actually I do. I'm going to be moving in like next month, a month, and all of April is my moving month so I'm going to try to do a room tour video for you all since this is the last time I'll probably ever get to film it which is really sad because I put a lot of work into it and it makes me sad that it really it's just my walls that make me sad and then some of the furniture I'm not going to be able to take with me including that back there because it's extremely heavy and it's I don't know we'll see if I can take it but I'm afraid that it's going to break on the way to my next place so that also makes me sad anyways I'm going to end it and I will just see you guys really soon in another video bye